So welcome to the all new TD UK launcher manager for the new Chromecast with Google TV. What does it do? Well, one click of a button, I now press the home key and we are now inside a custom launcher without using any third party applications like button mappers. So let me just answer those key questions right now. So yes, this is running on the latest Chromecast with Google TV. Yes, this blocks all adverts, all sponsored content, anything that Google TV wants to push on you, you're not going to see it when using this custom launcher. Yes, you can change the wallpaper and yes, it does support widgets and also it persists after reboot. So even if you restart your Chromecast, it now actually boots directly into this custom launcher. So you're not gonna see that stock launcher anymore. And no, you do not need to use a third party application like Button Mapper because as you guys know, when you use that application, it does break certain things like the BBC iPlayer. And no, this process does not break the voice search. In fact, what's the weather in London? as you guys can see and lastly this is not a permanent change so anytime you want to go back to the stock launcher it literally is just a case of flicking a switch using the new TD UK launcher manager so in this video today let me show you how you can get this new launcher manager on your new Chromecast I'll then take you through how you can configure the custom launcher create new sections change the wallpaper how you can enable the widgets and of course how you can undo everything so do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started. if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so to start this process head over to your settings scroll down into system then go down where it says build and press the select button here seven times and this will basically unlock the developer options once you've done that let's now press the back button let's now open up the developer options scroll down and just make sure you've got this usb debugging enabled once you've enabled that let's press the back button let's press back again let's now go to applications scroll down and let's now click on security and restrictions because here we're going to allow Downloader as a place where we can install applications from. So let's click on Unknown Sources and just make sure you've enabled this. Once you've done that, let's now open up Downloader. And we can use this new feature inside Downloader to get straight to my website. So, so all we need to do here is just enter in a code, which is 53402. And this is basically a short address that Elias has developed, which will take you straight to my website. Let's click on that and within one second we now get the message that we're being redirected and that should then redirect us to my website and it's done exactly that. Okay so once you get to my site let's now go over to the hamburger menu and let's now click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can customize the launcher without using any third-party programs. So let's open that up. Here it is. Let's scroll down and that's what the launcher looks like. Here's the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can enable the developer options, uh, give access to a downloader, how you can also enable the USB debugging. Keep going down and there should be a section for software needed. Here we go. So the first thing is the new TD UK custom launcher manager for the Chromecast. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button and click on install. Once you've done that, Let's press the back button. And then we have the special version of the Wolf Launcher, which is only designed for Chromecast. If you try and use a previous version of the Wolf Launcher, you won't be able to navigate through the internal storage to change your wallpaper. So make sure you only use this version here. Let's install that one next and click on the screen download button. And once you've done that, and lastly, you have remote ADB shell. Now, this is only needed if you want to enable widgets. And I know widgets are not for everybody because really they're designed for touchscreen, you know, tablets and phones and not all of them work properly. So if you're not interested in that, then you don't have to download this. Okay, let's now press the home key. So here we can see is the Wolf Launcher and scroll down. And here is the new TD UK Launcher Manager. So let's open that up. And let me just say a big thanks to Sween Wolf, who's actually the person that made this launch manager. So I provided him the commands and he put it into this nice toolbox for you guys to use. So big thanks to him for that. 
Now, when you start this application for the first time, we can see the only two things you can click on is enable stock launcher and disable. And we can see that the current active launcher is launcher X, which is actually the stock launcher. Okay, so let's now disable the stock launcher. Let's go over to the right. Let's click on that. Now, the first time you do this, you'll see this prompt. So it's very important you click on always allow. Let's now click on allow again. Because basically what the toolbox does is it makes an ADB connection to itself. It then issues those ADB commands in the background, depending on whether you want to enable the launcher or disable the stock launcher. Okay, so now we can see straight away it says there, active launcher is wolf. Now, after you disable the stock launcher, where it says active launcher, if that actually comes up as blank for you, all you need to do is just press the home key. Now, when you do that, your device will actually prompt you asking which launcher do you now want to use? And you can then select the wolf launcher. And we can see on my device, it already says wolf. So all I need to do now is just press the home key. And there we are, guys. We are now inside our custom launcher without typing in any ADB commands, without using any third party applications like button mapper, literally just one click. And we can now enjoy this custom launcher with no adverts, no sponsored content and we can customize it exactly how we like it. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, obviously when you open up the Wolf Launcher for the first time, it's not going to look anything like this, but it's very, very easy to customize. And, and I have covered this quite a lot in previous videos, but let me just show you some of the basics. So if you go to the top here and press and hold on an empty tile, we can now go to the launcher settings. So here we can customize the section. So let's click on that. Here we can add and remove sections. We can also rename them. So for example, here we've got the core section. Let's click on that. I can choose to hide the section or not by clicking on this. The section is now gone. Let's bring that back. I can hide the title like so, as we can see. You can also sort the applications by either manually or by most use. So if I click on that, this then shows you that the downloader is the application I'm using the most, for example. And lastly, I can also customize the columns. So if I go to the left here, makes it actually makes the tiles much larger if you like it that way. Or if I go to the right, it makes them a lot smaller. So depending on your TV or your preference, you can tweak this exactly how you like it. Let's back out of that. So that's really the sections. Now the big one, wallpaper, because you guys are always asking me, how do I change the wallpaper? How do I find some great wallpaper as well? If I click on this, make sure you enable this first, like so. Now before we go to select wallpaper, let's open up Downloader and just type in the numbers 73146. Just type those five numbers in, click on go. Let's press and hold here because we want to go into full screen mode. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to take uh, this wallpaper over here. Let's click on that. I then see the wallpaper and I can now go to this download button and then click on this download button here. Like okay, if you see an advert, let's just press the back button once. Let's click on that again. And that will then download that wallpaper directly onto your device in the downloader folder. So once that's done, I can now click on done. Let's go back to home. Let's go back to the top. Let's press and hold here. Let's go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper, click on select wallpaper. I can now go to the internal storage, find the downloader folder. And here we can see all of the images that I've previously downloaded. And let's say I want to go for this one over here. One click. And that's working absolutely fine, guys. So very, very easy to update wallpapers. And of course, if you want to find your own wallpapers, once again, just go into Downloader and just search 1080p wallpaper. Click on Go. This will then do a Google search for you. And there's literally just pages and pages of uh, websites that will give you free. Like this Unsplash one is a good one. One click. I can choose any wallpaper that I like and then download that directly onto my device. And then again, select that from the Wolf Launcher. Okay, let's press the home key. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. 
Now to get the widgets working on the custom launcher, I will leave a link in the pinned comment because I have covered that before in a previous video. Essentially, you're gonna use Aptor TV to find applications that have supported widgets. Once you've done that, you then need to enter in one ADB command just so that the Wolf launcher has permissions to use widgets. But I'm gonna be working on an update for the launcher manager. So that application will actually enter in that ADB command for you. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you are subscribed. Okay, so how do we now undo everything and go back to stock? Well, it just couldn't be any easier, guys. So one click, open up the launcher manager. One click, select, enable the stock launcher. Let's do that now. And that's it, guys. So now when I press the home key, just like that, guys, we are back in the stock launcher where we can enjoy all of these lovely adverts. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the easiest way on how we can update the stock launcher without using any extra third-party programs. So if you did find this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, more videos on the Chromecast or the Nvidia Shield or all of the different Amazon devices, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.